Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Speed Builds in Scrap Mechanic. This is where I take suggestions while I'm recording from the Scrapyard Discord and try to hastily build them and see what kind of crazy stuff we end up coming up with. So I've just sent a message into the Discord asking you guys to give me ideas for quick things to build that you'd like to see happen. So let's hop over there and see what kind of awesome and original ideas you guys are going to come up with today. I knew this was going to happen. I, I knew as soon as I clicked enter, I knew that you all were going to ask for tacos because of the I want taco meme in the Trailmakers episode I did not too long ago. Overwhelmingly, the first thing we're going to be doing is taco. I hope there's more than just taco later on down this. There's there's hundreds of suggestions and it looks like you guys got away from tacos. So we'll start off with the taco by popular request. But then we're moving on to other things, okay? All right, so you guys want a taco, do ya? Well, I guess we're gonna start with the bottom of the taco here. We're gonna give it a nice curve. Now, I don't know what, what kind of, what, what do you put in your tacos? I put usually just like meat, like hamburger, lettuce, cheese. I don't like tomatoes, so I don't actually put tomatoes in my tacos. I feel like the taco needs to kind of curve down on the ends though here. All right, so we have the shell. Let's go ahead and paint our shell the way that it should be painted. Well, like orange? No, no, we need more like yellow. Like, that's too much. That's too much though. What about like light yellow? Yeah, I think I think that'll do. All right, so now we got our taco shell, and now we need to fill our taco with our taco ingredients. So, do you guys prefer your tacos like messy or clean? Because I like it when the stuff is actually packed like neatly within the taco, rather than like spilling out and falling onto the my hands and the table and everything. Why don't we do the best of both worlds? I'll have this side be really, really messy, and then this side be like the neat side. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have a nice couple layers here of our meat. All right, there we go. I think that's looking pretty good. We got the clean side over here, and we got the messy side over here. All right, so now we need um, cheese. I'm gonna do cheese next. Now, I've seen a lot of people do meat, lettuce, then cheese. That doesn't make any sense to me. That makes no sense to me at all. If you're gonna put the shredded cheese onto a taco, you need to do the nice warm meat, and then you put the cheese on top of the warm meat so it melts into the meat. Because if you put the meat and then the lettuce, the lettuce is just like a cold layer that is gonna insulate the cheese from any heat and you're just gonna have cold shredded cheese and who likes cold shredded cheese as opposed to nice melted shredded cheese so now how do I make shredded cheese could this be the shredded cheese like if I color this we got yellow and then we got like you know the Mexican cheese blend some of them are orange oh that actually that doesn't look too bad all right so we're just gonna put a layer of this in here and we just have a nice variety of yellow and orange ones. And that pretty much gives us our Mexican cheese blend. Look at that. That looks pretty good. I'm actually, this is turning out a lot better than I expected it to. All right, now we need lettuce. You know what? I think I'm actually going to use wood for lettuce because wood has like the panels on it. And I think that like the lettuce is kind of like, like you get flake, it's flaky. You get flakes of lettuce. So I think like the lines in the wood are gonna are gonna communicate like the lettuce flakes i don't know just just bear with me okay but now we can't even see like the cheese at all we know the layers there but we can't really see it all right we're gonna have to mix in some cheese with the lettuce so that way we can actually see through kind of all right so now all that's really left is just painting up the lettuce and stuff all right we use some darker we use some lighter just give some variety of texture oh and then like the white like kind of lettuce chunks too. Oh, and who am I kidding on the messy side? Oh, lettuce is gonna get everywhere. Yep, I think we got ourselves a taco. Here you go. You asked for it. We got taco with a messy side. We got the nice neat side. So you have been heard. You want a taco, now you have taco. So let's move on to some other amazing suggestions. I know they're just gonna be fantastically great and original and unique. Let's get to it. <laughs> Oh, here we go. So Nuclear Thunder Plants asked for a taco toaster. I think this is going to be a pretty simple addition to our taco. So I think the best way to toast a taco is just add a little bit of heat to it. And if you add a little bit of heat to it, you can get this nice toasted taco flavor. And if you're wondering what it tastes like, here's a little example. 
As you can see, the taco was so delicious. I ate just about all of it all at once because of the amazing toasted flavor that it had. We got literally four blocks left. All right, well, let's see what else you guys have to offer. Well, here's an interesting idea by Lord Endrick. Build a car that explodes if you try to reverse. Why you would want to build such a thing, I don't know, but I'm going to build it in Scrap Mechanic. Now remember, this is speed builds, so we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on how this thing looks. We're just going to build a very, very simple car. Okay, so starting with the basics, we just got to add some steering on here. Make sure that our vehicle is going to turn. All right, we got all of our four wheels on there. Now we got to put our driver's seat on here. There we go. And we're going to try to make this thing look slightly like a car. Like, it's not going to be like the best car you've ever seen. All right, so before we fill the rest in, we actually have to make sure that we can explode ourselves. Now, spud guns actually take up a lot of space. I may have to rearrange some things here. All right, here we go. Now this is starting to take shape. So you may be wondering how I'm going to get this thing to explode when we go in reverse. So the way that's going to happen is with this fancy thing right here. So this bearing is attached to this stick of wood right here. And this stick of wood is actually going to be attached to our engines. So when the engine goes forward, the stick of wood is going to go in this direction. When the engine goes backwards, it's going to go back in this direction and trigger this sensor, which is going to trigger all of these spud guns, which are going to shoot this explosive. All right, so if I have my bearings hooked up correctly, we should be able to go forward no problem at all. And yeah, see, everything's working just fine. No problems. Oh, except for the fact that it's so bouncy without suspension. All right, so now I'm going to try to go in reverse. All right, here we go. Let's just back it up. And it works fine. Perfectly safe. Why did it explode so, so suddenly? What? Oh. Well, I saved it, so hold on. <laughs> Let me see what's happening in here. Let's go ahead and uncover this. So if I go forward... That's not how that was supposed to work. I need to have the engine that goes to the sensor thing much slower than the wheels. So we're going to have to separate these now. <laughs> Alright, so this is just going to go on minimum. Now let's just double check here. When we go forward... Okay, then we go backward. Oh, it gets stuck for some reason. I know how to fix this. So this should solve the problem. Yeah, we go forward like that, and I'm not going to explode it yet because I want to save this new version. Whew, okay, so now, now it should be perfect. We go forward, no problem. Let's slow down, and then we go backwards, <laughs> and then it explodes. <laughs> this is actually kind of a fun idea. Imagine, like, if you just give this car to your friends, and then you don't tell them... You don't tell them what, what's the deal with the explosive and they just try to drive around and let's say they crash into something. It's like, oops, I'm going to have to back up real quick and then they explode and then they don't know what happened. And they're like, you broke my creation. What did you do? But yeah, just in case you guys want to build it on your own. This is how the mechanism works. Forward, backward, sensor, explosive. All right, let's see what other awesome ideas you guys came up with. That one I was actually pretty good. <laughs> Red Stormy here. Why is everyone saying taco? I guess he must have missed that episode. Now he's on the outside of an inside joke. I'm sorry, man. Minexeronic. Minexer. Minexeronic. Minexeronic. Minexeronic asks, can you build a house that can fly? I mean, yeah. Yeah, of course I can build a house that can fly. That's like Scrap Mechanic 101. First, you learn how to build a door, and then you learn how to build a house that can fly. Now, bear with me here. This may not be your typical uh, process of building a house that can fly, but trust me, this is quick builds, and this is how you do it quick build style. All right, so you got your thruster, right? You just need your thruster on the ground. All right, so next up, you're gonna need your house. So you go ahead and put this like that, and then a key, a key to building a house, the like absolute key, to building a house is the wedge block and then what you're gonna do with your wedge block is you're gonna get on your lip because it's too high and then you're gonna put one wedge block like that and then get this you take the other wedge block and you face it back at the original wedge block and then look you have a house now you're probably wondering how is he gonna make the house fly I don't see any way that this house could possibly get up in the air well, you may not have realized, but the foundation of the house is actually a giant thruster. So when you turn the power up and press the button, the house flies. <laughs> oh, wow, here it goes.
<laughs> Whoa! That that has an interesting flight pattern. Oh wow. Um can I can I switch to my spot? There we go. I wanna get a zoom in on this. Oh yeah, it's gone. It's gone. I feel bad for the residents of that house. Probably some termite colony or something. All right, next suggestion. Okay, so Stevie 2004 here asks for a funny walking duck. Now I can at least do the walking duck part. I don't know how funny this is gonna be. All right, so let's see what we're working with here. We need to build a funny walking duck. Let's see what I can do if I just type in walker. Oh, oh yeah, it's it's already it's already here for us. We got derpy walker. I don't even remember why I built this, but see now all we have to do replace the seat with now hear me out here hear me out here it might not make a lot of sense at first but we're gonna do it oh we're gonna do a duck with a top hat because that just adds to the funny factor there we go so now now you just have to visualize this this duck this is actually his legs okay so that so then when we press the button you can see <laughs> look it's a it's a funny walking duck that's, that's how you walk that's a walker right Oh, man. Oh, I have a piston that extends and contracts. Oh, when did I build this? I don't remember this. Was this another speeds build, speed builds episode? Somebody tell me in the comments if you remember what this is from. But this is apparently a derpy walker. I, it sounds like a speed build. It looks like a speed build thing, too. I mean, look at it. All right, I'm not even, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let that roam around. I'm not even gonna delete that. That's just worth keeping. All right, what else you guys got for me? Oh, this one actually sounds pretty entertaining by Conda Bear here. Make a screaming box that will fly away when it sees you. We could actually do this. <laughs> we could actually do this in Scrap Mechanic. I'm looking forward to this one. And I don't think it will take too long. Okay, so if we're gonna make a screaming box, we need these tote block heads. All right, so I'm gonna use a combination of all the tone producing ones. You know what, let's just start with a base. And then we're gonna put the base on the base because these are the base blocks. All right, and then I think if these guys are more like the mid range and then we got like the top range here, just like that. All right, so we're gonna have to make this thing fly too. All right, so of course we're gonna need some max power thrusters to make this screaming box fly. Uh, I think on the other side to make it symmetrical, I'm actually gonna put more of these screaming blocks. So we're gonna, it's gonna be the same if you approach it from the front or the back. Okay, now we need to set the actual notes. So we're definitely gonna, we gotta turn the volume up on everything. Oh man, this is a tedious process. All right, now let's pick the sounds. All right, so if you're gonna make something sound terrible and screamy, you want them, you want them to all to be like notes that aren't the same, but really close to the same. That adds some dissonance to the notes. So the bass ones I'm gonna have be C, B, A sharp, just a nice dissonant assembly of notes there. And then we'll have these ones. We're gonna go with the retro sound. We're gonna go ahead and do just like C sharp. You know, let's just do like a nice tritone here. We'll do C sharp, E, G. And then what do these ones sound like? There we go. Yeah, we're gonna just do like the high high notes here. We're gonna do is just CBC. There we go. All right, so let's just see what this sounds like. I'm just gonna hook up a button to all of these. Oh, let's turn it off first, okay? All right, ready? This is our scream. <gasps> yes. Yes. And then this side can even be like slightly different notes. It's gonna be great. All right, so now if I hook this up to all of the other ones, Everything combined. I hope this is gonna like work. I hope we hear everything. All right, so this should be just the sound of horror. Three, two, one. Okay, so now we need to make this thing fly when it sees us. And that's just easy. We just do it with a sensor that is uh, set to be a switch. Oh, you know what? Actually, this logic gate is gonna trigger the screaming and then there's gonna be a time delay and then it'll fly away. So it screams and then flies away. And I think that's just gonna make it that much more amusing. We'll give it two seconds before it flies away. All right, so I'm gonna call this thing the horror box. Not only because it makes the sound of pure horror, but because when it see you, it is horrified and flies away. 
All right, <laughs> we still got the duck just crawling around over here. You know what? We actually might be able to do this so that the duck, the funny walking duck triggers the horror box. So let's see if this works. All right, go. Go scare the box away. Oh man, just wait till he sees this. It has a very short range of sight. Oh, are you really? Did you really manage to avoid that? All right, you know, you know what? Let's just, we're gonna put you right here. There you go. <laughs> And now we just gotta turn you on. There we go. All right, and oh wait, what? Really? 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 Why? Why can we not? Why can we not get this to work? Okay, will you please go scare the horror box? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, and there you have it. A box that screams when it sees you and flies away. Let's get on to one more creation. Strong one asks for a cringe vehicle. I think we already got that walking around the map. It has a duck on top of it. You know what? This is actually an interesting idea by Ptia77. A giant explosive that looks like a giant explosive. At first, that seemed like nonsensical to me, but I actually have an idea of how to do this. So hopefully this won't be too time consuming, but oh, it looks like, <laughs> looks like our derpy funny duck walker thing got stuck in a uh, ditch. Okay, so first thing we're gonna need to do is uh, have explosives. And now we need to get the dimensions of this explosive. It is three by four. All right, so the scale that I'm gonna use is one block is gonna equal four bombs. So this is one side at the base. So it's gonna be 12 by 12 by 16 tall, I guess. Hopefully this isn't gonna lag too much. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have the middle. Did I just see? the thing fly like right over there? I don't know, I might be seeing things. But I think I'm gonna have the middle of the bomb be hollow just for the sake of lag and time. Cause remember, this is speed builds. So now I just gotta copy this and then I gotta duplicate it and weld it vertically 12 times. Oh no. That's fine. We have a copy of it. All right, so this should be pretty much the scale size of the actual bomb. So now I'm gonna try to paint it to look kind of like the bomb. I don't know if this is gonna work, but this is the plan. So we're just gonna go with it. All right, and there we have it. I tried to paint it to kind of look like the paint job on the actual bomb thing itself. And I don't have a lot of detail to work with, but this is what I've come up with. We got the stripes on the top and the bottom, like we do there. And then we got like that middle kind of trapezoidal symbol thing. So I'm gonna hope that I can save this on a lift without it exploding. Oh, there we go. And I'm just gonna call it giant bomb bomb. And um, I'm just gonna drop it off the lift. That's how we're gonna explode it. There we go. Oh, yep, it's gonna explode. <laughs> Oh, and it's gone. Oh, and I have some leftover parts over here, too. So, do you guys have any favorites of these speed build creations that we've come up with? I want to thank everyone for participating and submitting all of your super awesome and original ideas. I had a blast at making them. So, if you want to be part of the next speed builds episode or any other type of video where I include the Discord community, then make sure you check the links down in the description below for how to join the Discord. And if you missed other speed builds episodes like this, then here is a playlist of speed builds so you can see what kind of other crazy stuff that the community has made me make in this game. Anyway, I hope this video has earned your subscription. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.